Good morning, ladies and gents. Guess Kex doing a bit more of uh, The Operative. No one lives forever. And I've been playing a fair bit of... Oh, don't forget Snowmobile. Um, playing a fair bit of Rule of Rose recently, so it's been a while since I've played any of this. Hang on, that might be incredibly loud. I think that is incredibly loud. Um, I can't really remember what we were doing. I've got a feeling... Holy smokes, I forgot how bloody sensitive this is. Right. Now, obviously we're still travelling to this sodding gondola that is apparently on the other side of the world. Um, hang on, I need, I need, I need that one. Which one have I got? i got loads of ammo for this. Oh, no! Forgot about that. There is a jump. No, that's the one. Okay, sorry, it's taken me ages to get used to the controls on this because it's been so long since i played any of it. Yeah, we blew up the power station. I do quite like that fire effect. I, say, I think I said last time, very Borderlands-esque. But we knackered the generator, so we de-electrified... Oh, hello. Nice! De-electrified the fence. Needed that. Way! Okay, thought there might be hidden intel or something. What's that? There's something glinting on the other side of that fence. Have I missed something? I'm just making sure there's no intel. You know, this this is the sort of game that puts intel in really weird places. Like, you, know, you think, how, how could it possibly get here? What is that on the other side of that fence? I need to go and have a look. I wonder if I forgot to pick something up and the game's actually remembered it and loaded it into this chapter. Hello. Hello, Boggs. My cat's coming. My cat's sulking because it has been, without exaggerating, it has been raining pretty much non-stop for the past three or four days. And she's not happy. Hello, what is this? Oh, it's that weird box of ammo. But we, we can't... Yeah, I remember that. I think we did actually load up on that before we came through. Anyway, enough fanning about. I keep nearly pressing L3 to sprint because this is on this is being played on a PS3 at the moment. I've got to remember say the, the whole way the whole thing about save points being a bit stingy in this. Well hang on, what is our actual objective? Locate the maintenance gondola station. So we're still doing the same thing that we have been doing for like the past three or four missions. I'm also really paranoid about getting jumped by people, because our health's quite low. Holy moly. That could have been horrendous. Yeah, because obviously it's this whole siphon filter thing that your health doesn't regenerate. I'm just having a quick peek, because this looks like the kind of place where we get ambushed. Yep, there's a dude over there. There's two dudes over there. Uh, this is tricky. There's not a lot of cover here. Okay, one dead. Quick. Nice. Uh, it's tricky, this, though, being in the, in the kind of open like this. Do you know, I think the last time I played any of this was actually pre-Christmas. Oh, he had, an, he had an ack. No wonder he was doing so much damage. Um, so, yeah, this has it's been a little while. Right, let's bring the snowmobile up a bit closer. Yeah, we're down to like three-quarters health, so we need to be a little bit careful. I quite like the fact that you can't regenerate your health. Again, like Siphonfilter, I quite like that, that, that idea that, you know, you can put on a new flak jacket, but you can't just uh, take one of these kind of magic med kits that you get in games. That, you know, you just press a button and, like, drink a potion or, or you know, unwrap a bandage and suddenly you're fine again. It's always a bit, always a bit silly. Anyway. I've never really sort of thought about what would make a... Wait! No! Get away from the tree. What might make a kind of realistic way of healing in-game? I mean, I suppose in D&D in type games, magic is kind of a valid reason, but in these sort of more realistic games... Describing this as realistic, anyway. Oh! Nice! Not so nice. Nice! Oh! <gasps> Did I actually get him in the head from there? Holy smokes! Amazing shots. Okay, now the pressure's on because we really don't want to F this one up now. Yeah, these have all got AKs, which is a bit a bit dangerous. It's kind of pointless me using a suppressed weapon, really, because the minute I pull the trigger, they instantly know I'm here. But anyway, right. Capture card's behaving as well. Oh, wrong button. What did I... That's the one. 
But we should have enough ammo to be able to use the AK soon. Hopping, hopping through the snow. Hopping through the snow. In a one... Ho one brake horsepower snowmobile. It's probably more than one brake horsepower. Anyway, let's be a little bit... A little bit tactful and careful. I know, apologies, that is quite slow progress. Oh, I thought it went up there. Um, but again, I really... When you die in this, it's quite brutal. It's all the way back to the beginning. And unfortunately, because of the because the controls of this snowmobile are so terrible, get out of the way of the bloody train. Look at that! I mean, like, look at that! I mean, how could you possibly turn in that that sort of? Uh oh, what is that? I thought it was a person. It's not. It's a sign or something. Oh, is it a minefield? This looks like it could be a minefield. It is. It is a minefield. Hang on a minute. Am I going to need to? I'm going to need to specs on for this, aren't I? Because aren't, aren't these? Don't they have like a? That's the one. <gasps> Hang on a minute. Do I actually have to get my snowmobile? Oh no! Can I not have it on? We may have to abandon the snowmobile. Because if I don't. Oh god. Okay. I think we are actually genuinely going to have to abandon the snowmobile at this point. I hope there's not some bit like in Tomb Raider 2 where you have to actually, there's some jump that you can only do. It's really difficult to get perspective on these as well. Um, that you can only do with the snowmobile. That's quite scary. I'm assuming it's a, it's like instant death if you trigger a mine, which, I mean, is fair enough. Really. As they say in Black Adder Goes Forth, something about you, um... Oh, where's it gone? Uh, you jump 20 feet in the air and spread yourself over a wide area if you tread on a mine. That's the, the standard procedure for treading on a mine. Um, uh, now this is a pain. This is a real pain because we are we are now snowmobileless. The fact that we have to take our glasses off to ride a snowmobile is, is just bonkers, but anyway. Oh, well this doesn't look good, does it? Okay, we'll let them come to us. That's fine. Should be at least another one. I think there's at least one up on the bridge as well. <laughs> Boom, there is. Holy smokes. This is not ideal. And the AK is quite inaccurate, isn't it? I'm pretty sure the other one's not dead. I think he's hiding behind that support. Oh, I'm really worried that it's gonna, it's gonna, we're gonna come to a bit in this where we have to do some ridiculous jump that we're not gonna be able to do on foot. Is he dead? Maybe he is. Maybe we've got another fluky headshot. Also, if we leave the snowmobile behind and then we get to a bit where the level loads, or like the next level loads, do we permanently lose the snowmobile? Oh, I see, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. Oh, God. Okay. Very suspiciously quiet. It's just, there's no way I could drive that snowmobile through the, through the minefield. Do we need it? Because if we do need it, I'm also going to have to do a lot of backtracking at this point. Obviously, I'd edit that out if it is the case. I'm just hoping we come to an obvious gondola station that we could just jump onto and not have to worry about the snowmobile anymore. Because it is a pile of dump. They didn't put a lot of... Oh, look at this. They didn't put a lot of um, time and effort into the driving mechanics of this, but then that's fair enough. Oh, here we go. Is this going to be... No. Okay. Suspiciously long. Oh, oh, what's this? I actually, like, stretched my head up to, or, like, neck up to kind of try and see over this snowbank. Oh, hello. What is this? I really hope they're not... Ex oh, there's a guard over there. I hope these aren't explosives. Oh, 
Okay. That went better than I expected. Okay, so, okay, maybe we didn't need the snowmobile because it looks like we have to jump up using these crates to get over this gap. There's no way we could have done that on the snowmobile. Okay, this is looking promising. And yep, and yep, and yep, and yep. Nice. I'm... Oh, ow, 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 ow. We snagged our, snagged our tights on the, um, on that. This has got to be the end of the level. Oh, hang on, I heard a beep. Proceed to the chateau. Is this not... Oh, come on. This must be the end of a... Of this section, surely. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Do you know, for some reason I'm getting weird Resident Evil uh, 5 vibes. I don't quite know why. Okay. Very suspicious. Why is this one a different colour? Hang on. Just in case. There's probably not, but you never know. There might be some armour dotted about. I'm not supposed to take this van, am I? What? No, that can't be right. No, I was going to say, there's no way it's going to let me drive a van about in this. Oh, there is armour in there, though. Yeah. That must have been the armour van. That's really bizarre. Like, what's the point in that? That's really weird. Anyway, I don't get it. Doesn't matter. Leave it. Because as I say, there's no way I'm going to be able to drive a van down here. The cat's looking at me in a very sceptical way. I know, I wouldn't be able to get a van down there, would I? Oh. Bottom. Dead. Next. I'd be so annoyed if an alarm went off now and it was like I had to go back to the beginning of the level. Screw that noise. Oh crap. Yeah. Beast. The AK is, is really powerful in this. What's he got? <laughs> A really badly rendered SMG by the looks of it. Actually I should probably try using this because it's suppressed and they will definitely not hear me. Ah, uh, here we go. This looks like an alpine ski lift to me. I'll press the... Oh, I could press the button. Yeah! There we go. Nice. Alpine entry. Scene 8. It's bonkers, isn't it? Some of them only have, like, two or three scenes. Scene 8. Again, as long as we don't end up with any of these enforced stealth missions, we'll be fine. I'm going to save as well. Obvs. Are you serious? Hang on, wrong button. Okay, let's save progress. <laughs> uh, now I know we don't have any spare space, so we'll have to do it over one of these. Assume it's over this one. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Nice. Because that's the thing. If we'd had to skip the this thing, you can't you can't skip like. How do you go back? There we go. You can only skip like whole like chapters, not scenes. Eek, eek, eek! No, there's a... Holy moly, where did you come from? I didn't realise there was a way through here. Okay. Well, actually, that, that, <laughs> that really threw me off. I had no idea there was a door there. Interesting. Are we at the chateau then? Any word from base two? Bam, keep trying. No, sir. Yes, sir. This is it for you. This is it for you. I, I love it. I love the kind of British accents. There he is. He's dead. Nice. Again, a very valid strategy, that. Oh, there's that ammo. Jumping up in the air while shooting an SMG. That's, that's... You learn that in Spice. In, in MI6, they teach you how to do that. Or SIS, I should say. They teach you how to do that. How to jump up with an SMG and shoot, shoot people. Uh-oh. 
Okay, so these are the sleeping quarters. I quite like the fact that this game has actually factored in... I got stuck on a box there. Has actually factored in sleeping quarters for the guards. That's very rare. Hang on. Oh, there's nowhere else to go. Nope. Nope. Nice. And again, no worrying about alarms at this point. Oh, there it is. We're not at the chateau. The chateau is somewhere up there. Eek. Holy smokes. Where's that coming from? Who's doing this? Is there someone behind me? No, he's up there! You can... Ah, uh, Hollywood dive. Well, that was terrible. There better be some more armour about. Oh! It's happening again. Oh, he's up there this time. Yeah, this is, this is not... This has not gone well. Oh, damn it. Okay. I wonder whether... No, I don't... I don't, I don't like restarting unless, like, I've actually been killed. But... This is not looking good. Damn it! Okay. With this cable. I'm just worried that we're going to get jumped while we're actually travelling. Anyway, we can always restart scene if we have to, anyway. How do I. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we're off. I lo as I've said in many of my other videos before, I love sections in games when you're actually on a moving vehicle, like a train or a car or something. Not like on rail shooters, but when you can actually move about like this on a moving surface. I remember being astounded by that in, in Siphon Filter 2, I think it was. Okay, well that was inside easy. Um, oh, that's the whole chapter bit done, so our health should be back up to full. Nice. Um, nice. Yeah, in uh, next. Once you reach the chateau, you will have to act quickly. The first challenge is to locate the list. The greater challenge will be to deliver it to command. Needless to say, subtlety is advisable. The odds against you are already overwhelming enough without you ha. drawing undue attention to yourself. Screw that noise. Infiltrate the chateau. Locate the Baroness secret lair. Locate the secret Yeah, it doesn't say anything about having to be stealthy. It's fine. We can just... Because basically, once you aggro them, you just sit in a corner and wait for them to come to you. The indomitable Kate Archer. Seed one. I've got a feeling this might be the last chapter. But yeah, when you when you're in, in Siphonville too, when you're on that train level, I was amazed. There we go, full health, full armor. We're loving it. Oh, there wasn't actually much of the actual train bit though. Acid gas. Oh, we're suddenly de-weaponed. I see. Okay. Whoa, very deep. Okay, he didn't get a chance to set an alarm off, anyway. Um, to Bryn Ach and Human Resources. Effective next Friday, you are officially transferred to the Mechanical Sabotage Division in Northern Europe. Please turn in your weapon before departure. Nice. Oh, hello. I actually genuinely wasn't expecting this to be here. I thought they... <coughs> okay, a little bit scared. <laughs> We haven't got... <coughs> okay, sorry about that. Minor coughing fit. Um, we haven't got a lot of ammo for this, so we could do with finding some alternatives before log. Nice. Log pile. Don't know if there'll be anybody in it. Hiding in it. No. Oh, I see some armour, but we don't need that as yet. I get a distinct feeling we're going to get absolutely jumped. Oh, nice! A toilet with with intel. Franz, mother can't believe you ran away and joined this harm company. Um, what does harm stand for anyway? Uh, Better you should have joined the circus. You know how mother loves monkeys. Right soon. Love your sister Becky. <laughs> That's very random. I like the fact they've got a stack of books to read while you're um, dropping off unwanted. Okay, don't want to go in there. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's where we came from. Derp. Okay, we'll leave that for the minute. I like the fact they've got it next to where the rest of the clothes are. No, we don't want that yet. <laughs> okay, I'm just seeing if there's anything else, any other intel or anything lying about. 
Vorsicht. Okay, we're not allowed out there. Presumably we can't interact with these anymore, but we know. It's fine. I wish we'd had a bit of a... It would have been really cool to actually have a bit where you're actually travelling on the um, gondola. But uh, alas, it was not to be. Just see if there's any intel on top of that crate. Apparently not. Yeah, this is somewhat of a different game to... Oh, no. Oh, no! I pressed that wrong something button again, didn't I? Well, that was awful. I keep doing that. That That is a really ridiculous button. I don't like that at all. I can grab that because we're probably not coming back. Okay, haven't even got a full mag on this, but... Yeah, quite, quite a different... Oh no, he's got one of them. Oh, he's got one of them! Everyone's got a different weapon! Okay, full mag on this one. Okay, there's a ladder going up. This is some kind of generator room by the looks of it. Oh, that's where the cables go through. It's got to be intel in here. Yep, here we go. Okay, everything must go. The mo what is it? Everything must go. The moon calf going out of business sale starts next Tuesday in Paris. Explosives, office equipment, used the armor, and much, much more. <laughs> nice. Moon calf. That's obviously a reference to something, unfortunately, I don't quite get. Okay. What is this? Is that window open? Or does this ladder go up even further? Oh, it does. Okay. Slightly confused. Am I... Oh, hello. <gasps> Secret passage! Secret way of dropping in on something. Oh no, I've now got stuck in here. That's fine. Oh! What's this? I, don't, I assumed this wasn't the right way to go. Hang on. No, no. Okay, we're actually outside the chateau. Bit scared. Bit scared. Okay, he's got an AK. Am I okay to drop down here, or do I want to? I'm getting sort of Anor Anno Londo vibes here. Who said that? Oh! What's happening? Oh, he's up there. Damn it, he's under there. He's fine. Damn it! I want to go in the other bit, but I also want to... Where did he go? Damn it. Holy moly, where are we? Get this distinct impression. Oh, hello. That this isn't right. Any <laughs> I don't know. This doesn't feel like we've gone the right way. Hang on, how do I get in? Oh, hang on. I think I might just have to shoot this lock off. Maybe. Nope. Damn it. I need the... Oh, it does! Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I was going to say, I thought we might need the blowtorch for that. Is that intel on the floor? I see intel. Oh, God. Bit scared. Bit scared. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this is about that. Employment opportunity. Travel the world. Top-notch security organisation and mot uh, sends motivated individuals. Seeks motivated individuals for managerial positions. Stock options and 401k available. Call 1-800-HARM today. What is this? I mean, that's... If I jump down there, I'm not coming back, so... We'll explore the rest of this bit first. Oh, hello. That looks suspiciously wonky. No, okay, I thought it might be something behind it. I have no idea what that does. I see more intel. That's like the main door to the, the, the chateau. It's all kind of a bit Wolfenstein, isn't it, with, with chateaus, etc. I do like this game, I must admit. This is one of these kind of unsung heroes. I get the feeling this may have been a mistake. But anyway, we're down now. Ah. 
I might be able to, uh, this might be yes this dude was around here I've got to be a bit careful he must have gone in here Hang on a minute, is this where we were? Yes, it's just the other direction. I see. It does help that bodies stay stay put. But I am very concerned about... Oh yeah, we're just underneath that bit. Where did that other guy go? Grab the intel. Nope. Okay, it contains a slightly worn kilt. Oh, that'll be from that dude. That's locked. I did, I did see there was a lift there, I'm just... I'm really, really worried about that guy. <laughs> like, where did he disappear to? Because I definitely didn't kill him, so he's about somewhere. Does this lift work? I'm assuming not. It does! Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, okay. Is that the end of that? Okay, fair enough. The indomitable Kate Archer. I don't think we've taken much in the way of, like, physical damage. Could do with a, another flak jacket at this point. Yeah, that kill belonged to belong to that guy, presumably. With Sporran attached, perhaps. Terrible. Okay, I should probably... Actually, I'm going to leave it there, because that's about half an hour. Um... Not what I meant to do. So we're going to save progress. We're doing alright. We're doing alright so far. And um, yeah, so we're going to leave it there for the minute. See what's waiting for us next time. I'm assuming that we're going to have to try and find this intel and get out. But again, it doesn't matter if we could if we set off the alarms and stuff at the moment. It seems. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I shall see you again very soon.